Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll be learning how to make a scatter plot using the matplotlib library. So as you can see, I have already imported the matplotlib.py plot as plt so that it becomes easier to code. Instead of writing this whole thing, I can just write it as plt. Now I have taken two sets of values, x and y. These are two lists which I have taken with uh, four different elemeter, uh, elements in it and uh, I'm going to plot them on the x and y axis respectively. So for that, I'll write it as plt dot scatter. Okay, so this is because I'm writing, I'm going to plot these x and y uh, on the scatter plot. Now in this, I have to give the parameters. So as you can see, these are some of the parameters that we use for scatter plot. So the first thing which we are going to give is the x axis. So the list x, uh, which I have already given here is going to become my x axis. So I'm giving the name of that list. Then I'm giving the name of the second list that is y in place of the y axis so that it takes the place of the y axis. Now this is my basic scatter plot. And now I'm going to write plt.show so that I can uh, display this. Now let us run this. So as you can see, I have got my basic scatter plot with my X values and Y values, and these are the points. Now let us try to add some features to the scatter plot. So I'll take one more parameter in the scatter, um, in this line, I'll take the parameter color. Like for example, you can see here that all the points which are mentioned over here, they are in blue color. So if you want to change its color, you can uh, give a parameter called color, C-O-L-O-R, okay? And then uh, in that you can give, you can mention the color. So suppose I'm mentioning only red color. So now when I run this, you can see that all the points which were mentioned over here, they have become red color. Now suppose I want to give different colors to you know different points which are present here. So as you can see, we have got here four different points. So I can give four different colors to these points. Now let us give. So now I'm going to enclose this in the closed brackets. So I've given a list of colors over here for these four different points. And when I run it, you can see that all the different points have now got different colors in it. So like this, you can give a single color to all the points or you can give different colors to all the points. Now what if here, as you can see, there are four points, but if I give only two colors, now let us see what happens if I give only two colors. Will it take the input or will it won't take the input? Now when I run this, you can see that I've got error over here. And that's because I have given four different values in my scatter plot. But in case of color, I have given only two colors. So either you can give only one color in your argument uh, for all the points or you need to give four different colors because we have here four different values. If you give any other number of color in that, then it will give you an error. So I need to mention here four different colors. Only then I will get the output or else I have to mention only one color for all the different points. So that was our color parameter. Now let us move on to our next parameter that is alpha. Now this alpha basically uh, means the transparency of the points. Okay, you can uh, check the different transparency of the points and the value of alpha It varies between 0 to 1. So for example, I give the value of alpha as 0 0.5 And then I run it so you can see that This was my previous output, but after giving alpha this has become my output That is the points have become slightly transparent So the values of alpha differ between 0 to 1 now, if you give alpha as zero, you can see that the points, they have become fully transparent. That is, uh, it is not even visible. But if you give the alpha value as one, then you can see the points have, uh, the points are back. That is, they have become fully opaque. So zero basically represents your uh, fully transparent points. And one is using, uh, one is used for fully opaque points. So it refers to a transparency. So that was our alpha parameter. Now let us move on to our next parameter that is the size. Now for size, if we want to change the size of these points, like suppose I want this point in bigger size when compared to the other point. 
so I have a parameter called size and for that I'm going to use the letter small s and now I'm going to give the size so suppose I'll give four different sizes for these four different points now as you can see I have given the size parameter I gave four different sizes now when I run the program I have got the different points in different sizes okay so you can uh, use this parameter to highlight the points now again if I want to give the same size to all the points so in the size parameter I can just mention one size and all the points will become of the same size so this was my previous output wherein the different points were of different sizes and this is my latest output where I've given a single size 85 to all the points mentioned over here now again if I give only two sizes for instance for all these four points now you can see again we got here an error so this one size is similar to a color like if you have four different values but if you're given only two sizes you will get an error just like how we got for the color this thing so either you have to give only one size for all the points or you need to mention four different sizes for these four different values so I'll mention four different sizes and now we will get our output with four different sizes for the points so that was the size parameter now let us move on to our next parameter that is the marker now this marker is nothing but the plotted points they are known as markers so for instance you can see here the markers are in the form of circles but if you want to change the shape of the markers then you can uh, give a different shape like for example I'll give the star shape to the markers okay I have given the star shape to the markers over here so just like I gave a star shape you can see that the symbols of these points have changed from circles they have now become star you can give any other shape also for example if I give this symbol then you can see we have got triangles over here so you can get different different marker sizes like in the starting we had uh, circles but now we have triangles so you can change the shape of those points that by using the marker uh, argument or by using this marker parameter now the next parameter that we're going to talk about is edge color now edge color is basically going to give an outline to these markers now uh, suppose I'll give the edge color as black so that it is visible now I'm giving it as black now as you can see this was my previous output but when I gave the edge color this is what I got you can see that there's a black outline that you have got because of the edge color okay so you can give outlines to your markers by using this uh, edge color by using this edge color option so this was some of the basic parameters that you can give to your scatter plot now if you want you can add the titles the x-axis labels and the y-axis labels also for this plot see suppose I want to add the title I want to give a heading to this uh, plot so I'm going to use plt dot title okay and in this I am going to give a title and I suppose I want to give it as scatter plot so I'll write it as plt dot title and in that I'll give scatter plot so you can see we have got here the title as scatter plot now I want to name this x-axis and the y-axis so for that I'll give plt dot x label and plt dot y label and in this you can uh, give the labels for example uh, I want to write it as x values and in this I'll write it as y values so you can see here we have got the x label and we have got the y label with the help of this functions now as you can see uh, like we have used different colors for the different points so you can even plot the color bar over here so for that you need to write plt dot color bar 
with the parenthesis and the color bar here is now visible with the color gradients now if you want to add grid to your uh, scatter plot you have to give the parameter plt dot grid and when you give this plt dot grid function you will get the grid lines in your scatter plot so if you want to get these kind of grid lines then you have to give plt dot grid and this will be your output so those were the grid lines now suppose i want to plot two different data sets for this scatter plot i want to plot two different scatter plots then i can do that also like suppose i'll take these values okay now i'll just change the values over here so i'm doing this because i want to see how it is going to look if I take different values. Okay, so I have taken here another data set and this is the X value and this is the Y value. Now I'll change the color and I'll give only one color to this data set so I can identify them. So, so for example the first data set I will give it as only red color and the second data set I will give them the color of blue okay so as you can see here we have got uh, different um, uh, scatter plots you can see we have got uh, red and blue color scatter plots for the two different data sets but now I want to identify which one belongs to the first data set and which uh, points belong to the second data set. So for that we have got another parameter and this parameter is called as the label parameter. So I'm going to add that parameter after edge color. I'll write label. Label is equal to, now I'm going to label the first set of points that is all the points that are in red color. I'm going to label them let me label it as plot one and for all the points that are in blue color which belong to the second data set I am going to label them as plot two okay so after giving the label parameter uh, in order to make this label parameter visible on our scatter plots we have to give legend function that is plt dot legend and with the parenthesis and for the second one also I have to give the plt dot legend function so that this label parameter is visible over here now when I run it you can see that we have got here the legends like when you draw the normal bar graphs also or if you draw the normal charts also you have the scale in your charts which helps you to identify the points so in case of scatter plot also if you want to identify these points which belong to different data sets you can use this legend parameter so you can see here that um, we have got the legend wherein the red color one shows the plot one that is all the red points the red markers they belong to the first data set that is plot one and all the blue color points they belong to the second data set that is plot two so this is how you make your uh, scatter plots so if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching and meet you in my next video